Shohei Otani is, is a must that he throws at least last year 130 innings. I'm going to show you nine pitches of filth. Fran, this is filthy. <laughs> this is what this guy can do. There's the first fastball. This is 99. Watch the life on this last one. That's right. That's 100. So his fastball plays. This slider is electric. He can tell you what's coming, and you probably can't hit it. So there's three heaters, three sliders, and then this, the dreaded equalizer. My opinion, the best splitter in the game. It's nasty. When you throw as hard as he does, the only thing separating him, and this is a bold statement, but I really believe this. My top three, Dick, Jacob DeGrom, Max Scherzer, Walker Buehler, you can throw Corbin Burns into that mix. His stuff is as good or better than any of the three. The only thing he lacks is big league experience, and he spends so much attention to detail in the batter's box and playing that he can't devote 100% of his attention to being a pitcher. I really think his stuff is as good as anybody in baseball. If the Angels get to the postseason, their two keys are this. They need Noah Syndergaard. Forget about 175 to 200 innings. If Syndergaard can give them 20 starts, okay. 125 to 130 really good innings, they space those innings out, and if, and if Shohei does what he did last year, he's, he may not go 9-2 and two again, and he may not strike out 150 in 130 innings. If he's healthy and thrown well, if those two guys deliver, the Angels have a legit shot to get into the postseason.